Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Sector 30 CR, a new Cinewop by AGLRC, which is an upgraded version of the Sector 150 that I've previously reviewed. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, and of course show you some flat footage. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box along with the Sector 30 CL quadcopter you can find some stickers, a small card that shows you how to install the propellers, two high quality AJRC branded battery velcro straps, the user manual of the F722 mini flight controller, some spare M2 screws, a spare set of Gemfan 76mm 5 bladed propellers and 3D printed TPU parts along with screws that will enable you to mount an action camera on top of the quadcopter. As for the available options, the Sector 30 CR is available in both analog and digital versions. The analog version, which is the one I've got, is bundled with the Cadex Hotel 2 micro-sized FPB camera and the AGRC Zeus Nano VTX. The digital version is bundled with the Cadex Nebula Nano digital transmission system and you can also choose between 4S and 6S version which differ in the KV rating of the AGRC Aurelius 2004 motor. In addition, in case you are looking for a slightly smaller quadcopter with similar features, AGRC also released the Sector 25CR, which is using smaller 1404 motors and 2.5 inch propellers. In terms of specs, the 6S analog version of the Sector 30CR features the AGRC Aurelius 2004-1800kV motors, on the center of the frame you can find the AGLRC F728 20x20mm stack which is based on a 28A BLLES 4-in-1 ESC and an F7 flight controller. As I mentioned before, the analog version features the Cadex Rotel 2 micro-sized FPB camera and the AGLRC Zeus Nano VTX. Underneath the VTX, in case you have one of the Bind Fly versions, you can find the radio receiver. The AGRC Hammer Art CP antenna is connected to the VTX and the battery is mounted on the top plate and connected to the 4-in-1 ESC using an XT30 battery connector. Just like the Sector 150, the wheelbase of the frame is 150mm and it features a wide X pattern. The thickness of the bottom unibody plate is 3mm, the thickness of the top plate is 2mm and the weight of the Sector 30 CR without a battery is about 200 grams. The setup procedure of the Sector 30 is pretty standard and you can find the Betaflight dump settings link down below. On a side note I can tell you that soon I hope to release a video that pretty much explains to you everything that you need to know about setting up a Bindafly quadcopter. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the AJRC Sector 30 using a 550mAh 6S lipo battery and also using a 3100mAh 4S lithium-ion battery pack. On both cases I tested it with an onboard naked GoPro 7 black camera and you should keep in mind in case you are going to get this quadcopter and you would like to use it with a similar camera that this 3D printed mount is not included. As for powering the camera I used this plug which is not included as well and I highly recommend to connect it to the 9V BC of the flight controller and not directly to the battery leads especially if you have the 6S version. As for flight time and performance, using the 6S 550mAh LiPo battery I got about 4 minutes and you can expect a pretty high to medium performance. In case you would like to just cruise around you can use the lithium ion battery pack and you can expect between 10 to 15 minutes of flight time which is pretty impressive. So overall, in my opinion, AGLRC got it right and the Sector 30 is an excellent Cinewhoop, especially because the combination of these relatively big motors for a 3-inch setup and the 3-inch 5-bladed propellers is working well since it is powerful, efficient and relatively quiet. Keep in mind though that in my opinion the Sector 30 is especially useful for capturing HD footage outdoors in a relatively safe manner thanks to these massive and durable propeller guards but I'm not sure if I would recommend to use it indoors because in certain situations it's not going to be safe enough because the propeller guards are not going to provide you with enough protection. As for the propeller guards, in case you would like to improve the performance of the Sector 30 and reduce some weight, of course at the cost of not protecting the propellers you can remove them and then you'll be able to use up to 3.5 inch propellers. 
Now I'm going to wrap up this quick video with some flight footage. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos.